Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. Let's uh, let's answer some questions about guitar and guitar related things. What software do you use? For my DAW, I use Logic Pro 10. For a long time, I used GarageBand, which is the free one that comes with all Apple computers and Logic felt like the next logical step. For video editing, I use Adobe Premiere Pro and for all the thumbnails and everything, I use Adobe Photoshop. If you want to get into photo and video editing, I highly recommend the Adobe Suite. The interfaces can be a little intimidating at first, but they're really, really powerful tools and they're actually quite easy to use once you get the hang of them. Any thoughts on the current generation of ESP E2 Eclipses? Love the profile pic, Mike. Rise up. The E2 Eclipses, they're awesome. They have the E2 name on the headstock, but they're basically just a rebrand of the ESP Eclipse 2 standards like the one that I have, and I love that guitar. The only differences are cosmetic. The pickup covers are now gold, which looks amazing, and there's now back binding as well, which looks really cool. The quality control hasn't changed. It's ridiculously good. Like. Every guitar plays great and they all feel the same. I played one and it was exactly like picking up my own guitar. Would definitely recommend. What's with the needle, man? Smiley face. Heroin, bro. Nah, so this is in reference to the studio tour video. There's a syringe on top of my computer. Since it's water-cooled and not a completely sealed all-in-one loop solution, it has to be topped off occasionally. So I use the needle to add distilled water to the reservoir. That's it. It's not that exciting. Is there a place to buy that song? Yes, there now is. I'm now offering all the songs as downloads for patrons on my Patreon page. There are older songs that need to be remixed before they're put up, like the Wild Audio Odin song, for example. The riffs are great, the mixing, not so much. So those are being redone for patrons. If you haven't already, check the Patreon page out. It's the only way to get the songs, and it also really, really helps me out because I don't have the views to generate any sort of meaningful revenue to put back into the channel yet. Someone actually using a Hackintosh for content creation. The specs are nice too. Is the GPU in there just for rendering or do you game on that thing? Definitely got it just for editing and rendering. It does gaming well because the specs are good, but I try to keep games off my computer, keep it separate. I do all my gaming on the Xbox. When I'm on my computer, I'm working. To your other point, yeah, a lot of creators don't use Hackintoshes. The main reason is when you're making videos as a full-time job, you need a computer that always works. With a Hackintosh, it's a heck of a lot easier now, but it's still not a plug and play kind of a deal. There's no official support, there are a lot of bugs, and if you wanna do something as simple as update the US, you need to reinstall the entire operating system. Simply put, if you don't know what you're doing, it's a pain in the butt. If you know what you're doing, it's a pain in the butt. And if this is your profession, you need the reliability and support that comes with Apple hardware. Did you do a video on how to start a YouTube channel and your approach to making videos? Yeah, for some reason you guys really like the behind the scenes stuff, like the uh, studio tour rig rundown thing video. I have this Vic Audio 1861 fuzz pedal that I was supposed to do a demo of, oh uh, god, in like early January when I got it. Sorry Mike. The process of how I actually get stuff is pretty hard and not that exciting, but I think it might be cool to do a vlog of the entire creation process. It might be helpful for anyone looking to get into YouTube or interesting for anyone that wants to know what goes into creating these videos. So I'll think about it. Is the PV6505 Piranha good for jazz? No. All right, that's it for this q and I'd love to hear your thoughts on anything discussed in this video, so feel free to leave them in the comments. If you've got any questions for a future episode, you can leave them below, tweet them at me, or send me a Facebook message. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I will see you for the next video.